Welcome back everybody, Tom here from Whistle Thicket. If you've been following along, you know that it's my first year as a beekeeper and um, I got a, a decent amount of honey from one hive. I've been uh, making some wax um, products, some, um, I guess beeswax products. But, um, and I did treat for Varroa mites with formic acid. I did everything I thought I was doing right, especially for a first year beekeeper trying to learn. But one of my hives succumbed to uh, Varroa mites. They devastated the hive. The second hive next to it was actually a weaker hive that lost its queen early on. And then um, they made a new queen and now this hive at least recently was doing pretty well. Um, I'm gonna open up this hive and I am going to do an inspection. I do have a screen board on here and it has a mite counter board on it. Um, there are a few mites, but nothing crazy. Um, I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation with losing a hive, trying to stay positive. At least I have drawn comb for next year for another hive to try. Um, I'm going to feed the extra super from this other hive that, that failed back to this hive. And then they will have plenty of honey to survive the winter. Um, I may also treat for um, mites again. I know it's late, it's uh, almost Thanksgiving. Um, formic acid is an organic treatment. And um, I've been checking out uh, the company website and doing research. As long as it's above 50, to, um, 50 degrees in the daytime, they recommend going ahead and using it. Um, we have about 10 days where that's mostly true, where it will be 50s or above for, uh, for the high temp. Today it's supposed to be 57. Um, so I'm just going to look at the hive and uh, make a decision. But I'm hoping to get this hive through winter um, if I don't, um, I'll keep trying, but, um, bees are a big investment. They cost about 130 to 185 bucks if you get a nuke. So let's go ahead and open up this hive. I'm definitely going to give them the honey and I may treat them, uh, for Varroa mites for the second time.
I was very impressed with the state of that hive. It's early winter, late fall. And in some ways that hive seems better than it did a few months ago. Um, it is booming for a winter hive. Um, I did treat with the formic acid again. Um, and I added a second super. So they should have plenty of honey for the winter no matter what. So starvation should not be an issue on top of that. Um, they have the bee candy on top. So I'm not worried about them starving. I'm worried about Varroa mites. Again, it's my first year. I'm learning so much. I saw a few hive beetles in there, like two or three, um, which is a sign that there may be um, Varroa mites as well. So I guess what I've learned is that the Varroa mites come, they weaken the colony, and then other parasites like the hive beetle and... Um, other viruses can appear with a weak hive. But I don't think this hive is weak. I think this hive is booming, actually. Um, so I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed that they make it to the spring. And if they don't, you know, I'm just going to keep learning. Um, there's so much to learn with beekeeping. Um, I already know I'm going to do a few things differently next year than this year. Um, the last thing I'm going to do, this is my mite counter board. Um, screen boards I've read um, will lower your mite um, population by 12 to 15 percent which may not sound like a lot but that could be enough to save your hive um, so I'm gonna coat this in olive oil and then I'm gonna check it in a few days to see how many mites have dropped if a lot of mites have dropped then I know that the formic acid is working, but if a lot of mites don't drop, then I also know that I don't have a mite problem, hopefully. So again, first year, I've learned so much. It's been amazing. Um, I'm gonna keep learning and uh, I'm not gonna quit. Beekeeping is definitely a part of our homestead for a long time to come. So if you like this video, just subscribe. If you have any beekeeping advice, just let me know. I'm always open to uh, learning from others. Thanks.